This is Gamer Weekly, bringing you the latest of what the video game scene has to offer. On today's show, we're going to be talking to Ricardo of Zabalda Studios, and we're going to be talking about their latest game, Militant. All right, and welcome to another episode of Gamer Weekly, the show that happens on a weekly basis, and it's about games. With me today is Ricardo from Zabalba Studios. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me as, as a guest to your show. Hey, no problem, man. Um, your latest game is called uh, Millet, 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 Militant? <laughs> yeah, I just pronounce it Militant. Militant. Okay, we'll go yes. with Militant. What is Militant? Okay, it's it's a game where you're an ant and, you know, your colony gets invaded by other bug nations and your mission is to d- defend it at all costs. So the game is kind of a shooter. Maybe it will maybe remind you of Contra meets uh, Box Life, you know, the movie from Pixar or something like that. So that's the whole idea. So you're gonna end up fighting like grasshoppers and yes. Is there is, <laughs> and then the final boss is a giant bird. Uh, no, not it's not exactly like the movie, but you know it's uh, the bad guys are you know other types of uh, insects. Um, the boss here is uh, um, you know the really bad guys are the scorpions. So there's you know there's gonna be scorpions there <laughs> for sure, and other types of bugs. The you know, there's they they all have different um, you know things like for example the the termites have large numbers, but they they don't have a you know as good technology as uh, for example the scorpions have, etc. So we we have you know it's like over thirty kinds of different bugs in the game. So so it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you guys should check it out when it comes out. So. It says here in the uh, in the description that you guys have mm-hmm. e- epic boss fights. What are yes. some of the epic boss fights that could happen in Militant? Yeah, so we, you know, since you're an ant, uh, pretty much, you know, anything else that you encounter will be an epic fight because everyone else is like much bigger than you, right? So, uh, for example, uh, the boss of level one is this gigantic be- beetle. And so, you know, it's just because you're tiny, everything else is like, you know, of, a, you know, epic proportion. So <laughs> it's kind of like that. We have, you know, different levels, but then uh, I want you to, to play the game. I don't want to spoil, you know, too much of it. Well, um, so it says here you've got it's got some uh, some customizable weapons and stuff, too. So like what what weapons would an ant use against these other insects? Okay, they're actually they're fairly standard from you know like shooter games. Uh, it just looks like they're made by we we made them in such a way that they kind of like uh, look like they're made by ants. So they look like like leaves uh, folded, and we have this uh, element called the crystallite, which is like you know this uh, is the reason why there's a uh, this uh, whole war going on between the insect uh, kingdoms. Uh, crystal is, is not to drink. <laughs> it's, it's just an element called like that in the game that will um, that is what powers the the weapons. And the ants apparently have you know they control this element and everybody else wants it. So there's a struggle there. And the, and the idea is that the you know the this uh, technology that the ants created you know it's, it's powered by the crystal and the weapons. I told you, they look fairly standard. Like we have, you know, like a well, you start with a pistol, and you get to as you play the game, you get to to, to upgrade it. You get like a flamethrower, machine gun, uh, you know, you know etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so, uh, uh, so well, that's the idea, you know, that you you know keep progressing in the game, and and well, we don't sell you that. You have to earn it in the game. There's no microtransactions involved. So uh, that's she'll give it. Uh, you know, enough of a, of a challenge and, and more reasons to play back the, the levels. Like the idea is that you you maybe beat the level with certain combination of weapons, and when you unlock better ones, you can maybe come back and, and beat your own score, like with trying different combinations of, of uh, weapons. 
So yeah, that, that's more or less the, the idea about the, the weapons. So what exactly inspired you guys to to make a game that is about military ants? Uh, that's a really interesting question. Uh, my business partner, he's, uh, he's actually from the U.S. Like, the company's in Mexico, but he, he came to Mexico and cause we studied together. And I went to the Egypt, like a, a game programming school in, in, in Washington State. And then we came back. To, well, I came back to Mexico and started the company. And he, uh, well, he just, when we finished our previous game, like, he came up with the, this, uh, he had this notebook from, I think, grade school, maybe grade five or six, something like that. And the, 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 he saw something that he it looks interesting. He, it looked interesting for our next game. And there was a something he drew when he was in, in grade six there that was like a, a bunch of ants, uh, you know, with guns and, and other types of bugs. And that, that was basically the inspiration for Militant. We're like, oh, you know, that, maybe he when he did that like over 20 years ago when... Maybe the Super Nintendo was popular. So he maybe was thinking, you know, as a kid, he was playing all those Super Nintendo games, maybe Contra or other games of that era. And, and he got inspired to to make the drawing in, in his notebook. And now, like, we look at it like, oh, you know, that will make actually a really cool retro game. Like, you know, let's just make it with modern graphics, right? And, but keep the you know the the old school gameplay. So that that's kind of like the idea of Militant, just old school gameplay with the uh, yeah, modern graphics. So the games coming out for the uh, the PS4, the PS3, the Vita, and PC. Have you yep. got? Have you got? What like? What different kind of process was it going from like uh, working on PC? to working on like a ps4 like were there any kind of struggles going on with that oh yeah when we started the game because since it has been in development uh, a long time like uh, it's already five years we started before the ps4 didn't wasn't even announced so we didn't know initially that this game was going to be a ps4 game so we started making the game for PC uh, initially and in the middle of development, like uh, we uh, we got accepted into the developer program of uh, PlayStation and they gave us access to the PS4. So we're like, oh wow, now we have <laughs> all this power um, in the PS4. So how can we take advantage? So one of the things that we did was to uh, increase the resolution of the textures since. The PS4 has so much memory available. Uh, I think it has eight, eight gigabytes. So, um, but and you have access to five, like the entire five gigs for your game, Some, something like that. But it's it's much larger than what we were used to having with the PC. Since the PC, unfortunately, you had to like th- there. Are, obviously, you can buy a very powerful PC that will be more powerful than the PlayStation, maybe, but the it's difficult for developers to to use target you know the very high end market of PCs. You, if you want to be successful, you have to make it uh, so that it works with maybe all PCs, right, or or at least the majority. And that means you have to at some point choose uh, the lowest or target for the lowest common de- denominator. And you you maybe can make it so that it works a little better in in more powerful computers, but uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's it's difficult for us because it's you know you have to at least make it work in in the low end machines and and, ma- and making it so that it will uh, scale to to something better. Like it's it's always a, a little complicated, but you know we we try to do it. But anyways, having a, a, a PS4 which is a fixed platform. We know exactly how much memory it has, and that's never going to change. It's like no one's going to take it away from us. So we can just say, okay, now we have more memory, more uh, than or more graphical power than the lowest, you know, denominator from PC. Then we we get to optimize uh, uh, quite a bit. 
So we got it working at, you know, 60 frames per second, 1080p, and and just increase the the resolution of texture, especially like uh, that's that's just some of the things we did. So it was a lot easier to uh, to make it to where it was like, okay, everyone's going to have the same experience with this game because everyone has the mm-hmm. same exact hardware instead of going with yeah. with like somebody else who built a computer. It's like, all right, cool. This person has like this crazy high end computer, and then this person has an Acer from Walmart. Yeah. So exactly like uh, in, that's that's the biggest problem with the computers, the fragmentation, right? So and unfortunately, you have to like choose what's going to be your uh, lowest, uh, like the lowest, uh, uh, you know, your minimum requirement machine, and and just get it work to there, and then you know make sure the like try to make it so that it will work better in the better ones, but you know, always uh, making sure that the experience is still, that the game is still playable in the lower end machines, right? And, and so uh, was there anything in Militant that that you guys wanted to incorporate into the game but couldn't because of, like, time constraints or anything like that? Uh, yes, you know, the, <laughs> that always happens with all games, I, I suppose. There's always all these things that... You want to do because you don't have enough time. I think one of the things, like big things, we had to sacrifice because of time constraints is the game had already been a long time in development. It was uh, having a like a like multiplayer, like a, maybe a co-op mod, something like that. That was in our original game design document. It was there. Like all, all the games we did before had multiplayer components, but this one turned out to be a a game that took us a long time to finish, and and if we had you know multiplayer, I was thinking like, oh, that's gonna be like opening Pandora's box. It's gonna be, we're gonna have to uh, you know catch all this new box that we don't even imagine that we have at the moment. So uh, we just decided to okay, I think it's time to ship this. It's already been in development long enough, and so we had to maybe save the. Uh, you know the cop and multiplayer components uh, for maybe a, a DLC or a f- future update or maybe for the sequel. I don't know. When we'll have to decide what to do once the game ships, we'll probably have a, a better idea of what we're gonna do. And so, uh, when when is Militant coming out? Uh, we still haven't announced the release date, but we're very close to that point so please stay tuned like that's it's just a matter of days at this point <laughs> so it's you're hoping it's this year right oh yes it's definitely we're not that far away uh, from the release date but you know we st- we're gonna make the official announcement like very soon and so we'll we'll, we'll let <laughs> you guys know about it too Will uh, will the PC version and the PS4 version be coming out around the same time? Or yes, th- that's the idea. PC and PS4, uh, hopefully at the same time, or if not, very close. And um, PS3 and v- PS Vita are going to be a bit uh, delayed, but they, they will still come out like uh, as soon as we finish them. <laughs> and will that be a? Um... This will they be a downloadable game, like, or will it be a box release for? Uh... Uh, everything it's we're doing at the moment is uh, downloadable. Yes, the box is uh, too much trouble for for a small company and indies like us. Uh, it's really not a good option. So we're just doing everything digital. All right. Well, uh, Ricardo, thank you so mm-hmm. much for uh, coming on to the show. Uh, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to check out uh, Militant, it is at Zabalbo, Zabalba Studios. Oh, I almost mm-hmm. – ZabalbaStudios.com. And mm-hmm. there you can check out their other games as well and uh, be on the lookout for the game. It's coming out soon. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. In a few days we'll, we'll uh, announce. The Militant also has its website. It's MilitantGame.com. Maybe that one's a little easier to spell. (laughs) All right, guys, and be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for listening to Gamer Weekly. And once again, thank you so much, Ricardo, for answering my email. 
you are awesome. Yeah, th thanks for the invite, and I'm very happy to be on your show. So let me know anytime when you want us to come back. All right, man, sounds good. All right. Okay, goodbye. Bye Thank bye, you. Bye, everyone. Thank you for listening to this week's Gamer Weekly. This is Justin Vancer signing off.